long ago. It has been a very, very, very long time. And I always thought that my first video back would be a catch up with me. But for my catch up with me, y'all, we need wine, popcorn, and more wine. So, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that although it's been forever that you guys have not abandoned me, you have not left me. I didn't lose any subscribers. So, thank you and shout out to you all. My name is Lala Shantae for those that are new. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I know I said it's been a while, but I'm trying to get back into the rotation. If you are new or if you are returning and you didn't know because you don't follow me on social media, but we are expecting baby number two already. Two under two and she's due very soon. 37 weeks. Scheduled C-section is for 39 weeks. And I am just trying to be like super prepared more than I was with my first. So I already have my bags packed. In today's video, I'm pretty much just going to go over what's inside of my hospital bag. Second time around. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it, y'all. Um, like I said, go ahead, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. If you are not following me on social media, go ahead and do that as well. Same name, Lala Shantae, L-A-L-A-S-H-A-N-T-E. Go ahead, do that. All right, boom, let's get into it. So for this time around, I have, um, I did a smaller bag. I did not combine baby and my stuff together. Um, I did that last time and I didn't really like how that was. So first thing first is that I am using this bag. It is literally, if y'all can see it. So the brand is called, sorry, Love Book. Love Book, L-O-V-E-V-O-O-K. So it is a weekend bag life and it says gift for parents in love. I have this on my registry and actually one of my line sisters got it for me. Shout out to her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it comes with this little bag inside of it as well, which is phenomenal for like your toiletries and stuff. So there are a ton of pockets inside this bag and I think that is why I absolutely loved it and had it on my registry. Um, so this is just simply just me. Nothing to do with baby in here. So because I know that I'm already having a scheduled C-section, I know about how many nights that I should be at the hospital as long as everything goes well. I kind of like packed for that. So what I have in here this time around is one, I have my Freedom Mom underwear. I like them so much better than the ones that the hospital give you. I'm still gonna take theirs because technically I pay for them, but these are my fave. I am huge on Freedom Mom, y'all. So a lot of things you see is gonna be from Freedom Mom. The hospital gives you an abdominal binder, but I did pack my own just because the one that they give you is like really huge and it just did not do what I wanted it to do. So I packed my own postpartum abdominal binder. I'm still going to take theirs too because once again, I paid for it. If you were around for my last pregnancy, which was a C-section, that's why I'm having another one because they're so close together. Um, one thing that I had posted about was these Freedom Mom silicone scar patches. Um, so I have these with me. More than likely, I won't need them till I come home from the hospital, but I'm just still going to pack them in my bag just in case. Um, they work really, really well, and I actually loved them, um, kind of like protecting your scar. So I'm going to take those with me. Something new, and I'm so happy I got it. I actually received two of them. This one, and it goes hand in hand with everything else that I just showed from the Freedom Mom collection. So this is like a C-section recovery band. And you kind of just snap it on around you. And inside, I already placed it in here just for packing purposes, but it's like a hot, cold um, gel pack. So you can either freeze it, make it cold, or you can um, heat it up and make it warm. And that is the, it's one in the back, and then there's a bigger one inside of the front. So I have two of these, thankfully. One from my best friend and one from one of my line sisters. 
and I am so happy to have this like when I seen them I was like you guys are lifesavers because that c-section was no joke for my son and I'm a little terrified to <laughs> go through it again so something else that is new that I am packing in this this time around um it's actually from the mom cozy brand comes in this little cute baggie or they give it to you and it is a massager so um you know like when you're pumping or breastfeeding you kind of need like that that little massage going on and when you're pumping sometimes you just don't have all the hands to do everything so boom it actually has heat on it and you can change the different levels of the heat and the temperature and then also you can change the levels of the massage so i'm really excited about this it's um you just charge it up it comes with the charger i have it fully charged already but i'm gonna take the charger with me just in case um just because i don't know how you know how long does it the charge actually last but i am so excited about this as well although my breast pump has not come yet Okay, we have shower shoes so my shower shoes actually I think I'm going to utilize as a little bit of both I don't know yet but I'm taking shower shoes my jammies are all so adorable I'll show you those we have grip socks I have about three pair of these gray pink and then I have a black pair nursing bras I have my outfit that I'm gonna leave the hospital with. They're like postpartum leggings. Suck everything in while I have on the abdominal binder because I would not be taking it off this time around. Hair ties, cause I have my braids of course. Nipple cream, boom, don't forget that. And of course we have like our regular toiletries, toothpaste, lotions, um, Soap. I have bar, but I also have liquid soap too. I have inside of here. Um, I have my razors. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel well <laughs> to take razors everywhere. Um, face cream, a little oil because I like my face to be like really shiny when I'm not wearing makeup. I don't know why. <laughs> like a child on their first day of school. That's what I like. Don't judge me. Um, and then I have three pajama sets. So I ordered my jammies actually off of Sheen. I'm really extra. So this is one pair. <laughs> There's feathers on it. And the top is like a robe and it has feathers on it as well. Really cute, really cute. Um, just another pair of silk pajamas. All of my pajamas are silk and they all like open up so I can breastfeed really easily. So these button up. And then this one, it's actually a full like romper type of thing ordeal, but super easy to still breastfeed in. This one is from Target actually, and it has pockets. Who doesn't love pajamas with pockets? And boom, that is all the items that I'm taking with me this time around. Um, my bag is not like overflowing. It's not, it's really comfortable for me to just carry in there myself. Um, and yeah, baby's bag is separate and I might do like a little small snippet, like a short on what's in the baby's bag. But I am going to try to be consistent. Keep in mind, I am now about to be a mom of two under two. Life is lifing you guys. <laughs> but um i hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comments if you have any suggestions anything that i did not show in my video that you feel like should be in my bag go ahead and add that in the comments as well i love to see your comments and i love to kind of chat back and respond i know it's been a while so we do have to catch up um maybe we can even do like a q and a let's do that so go ahead and put your questions in the comments for this video so i can make a question and video for the next video or you know a question and answer type of video for our next one so go ahead comment like subscribe follow me on social media and i missed you guys bye